This rendering was done for one of my developer clients who had sent me their Revit model of a building that they're trying to conceptualize. So what I wanted to do with this information is to really illustrate it in a way where it's believable, but not super realistic. So I'll show you through this process where I have a pretty much set a workflow for myself and the client with the understanding that when I illustrate for them, there is a lot of room for iteration and for a hand sketch rendering kind of style, this is going to be super important because it's going to be very hard for someone who doesn't really know the project that well and understand exactly what to draw in the first round. So it's really important to have a workflow that can have the room to edit, adjust things, and really just refine things after a multiple round of review. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you in this process. But in this very beginning phase of the project, without any feedback so far, I'm just going to trace out the existing geometry as best as I can understand. And I'll send this back to the client for a initial review before moving on to more detailed things. So here I'm still again, I'm just mapping out this composition and I'm also just kind of drawing this tree that I think I missed in the first round. So I'm doing this in red and eventually I will decrease that saturation to black. But the things that I'm doing in red are going to help me to highlight the things that are going to be added in on a separate layer. And these are the things that can be easily removed and adjusted. So as you can see that these are the changes that I'm making to the drawing from the very beginning and with feedback about adding in more bikers and pedestrians, I'm able to do all this work without worrying about starting the scratch over. And this is really the power of drawing in Procreate is you have this infinite room to go back and forth about editing your sketches. And now I'm at a point where I'm adding in colors. I am making this thing a little bit more attractive and palatable. And you can see that I received additional feedback on the road at this point and more comments about adding in people. You can find mini tutorials on my channel about how you can add in entourage like I have in here and where they should be placed. There's a lot of good resources out there and most of them are actually free. But I am showing you here the process from beginning to end of how I might work with a client, whether that's a new client or existing client, and what they can expect from me with illustration that's starting from A to Z. And many times I will actually provide this file to them as either a Procreate or a Photoshop file so they can continue to further edit the sketch if they wanted to. And I think that's going to be a very good option for them to keep in their portfolio.